Welcome back to TriEdge. Today we're going to overview our marathon calculator. We have a range of calculators on our website www.triathloncoachingsg.com that are free to use and it's a great tool at any time in your season to have a look at. So to start off our marathon calculator can be split into kilometers and miles simply by clicking the button across. The calculator will automatically change all of your splits as per below. As we're based in Singapore, we work with our clients on the kilometer option. Often our clients ask us at the beginning of the season or at various stages during the season, what am I likely to run? How is it going to impact my race? What are my splits? So this is a tool that we've used time and again and we wanted to offer to everybody. Pre-season, we normally start with what is your goal? What is your target for the overall season? Let's say our client wants to do a four-hour marathon. Our clients range from elite athletes all the way through to first-timers. So this can be completely variable. We would simply enter a target race time here of 4 hours. We would calculate this and it will give our clients an overall race pace and then kilometer breakdowns to hit the 4 hour time. This is excellent because now we know that we need to build up our clients training to comfortably manage 5 minutes 41 seconds per kilometer. Through the course of the season, things can happen. Injuries, uh, work, family, things get in the way of training. And we all have to manage this as working, working athletes. Given this, we knew that our client at the start of the season was able needed to run 5 minutes 41 per kilometer but from our observation we know that they're only capable of now running 5 minutes 50 5 minutes 55 seconds per kilometer we can now recalculate their time in order to get their new target time for their marathon This calculator also has an additional feature of a pre-fade race pace and a post-fade race pace and here's how it works. We normally slow down in a, in a running race. The ideal situation is that we speed up as the race goes on but in most, most cases our clients do slow down. The reason is, is we're fresher at the start of the race and tend to start faster. Also, it's exciting to be on the start line with thousands of other people. In this situation, we're going to say from the 5 minutes 55 seconds per kilometer, we're going down to slow to 6 minutes per kilometer from the kilometer number 21, the midway point. We recalculate. And you'll notice the pre-fade pre pace has stayed the same. The post-fade pace has now gone to 6 minutes, which is what we've input. And we have a new average time of 5 minutes 58, with our total time being recalibrated down the bottom. If you're not quite sure about your race pace, we can simply come across and set the fade in another way. Let's say the target once again was 4 hours. You now have an option of slowing down by seconds per kilometer or a certain percent. Let's say in this situation 5%. Again from the midway point 21 kilometers. Note it doesn't have to be 21 kilometers. This is just a great reference point that we generally say you feel good until a 21k mark assuming you've done a correct amount of training. Once we've input this, 
the calculator will automatically give you your average speed, your pre-fade pace, and your post-fade pace, as well as all your kilometer splits. The kilometer splits come in handy when our clients are running because we have them either write it on their arm or if they're using a professional sports heart rate monitor, they are programmed into the heart rate monitor either on a per kilometer basis or at certain markers such as the 5k, 10k, 15k marker within the race. This keeps our clients on track and on time in, in the race and boosts the confidence because they know they're well capable to handle this pace. We hope this tutorial has helped. We encourage you to talk to your coach about other variables that may impact the race, such as heat and nutrition. We would love to see you at the triage sessions. Thank you.